Hey guys, Slink here with another video and today we're going to be checking out a fairly new piece of software called Odyssey which was created by the same people who created Mixed in Key. And if you haven't heard of Mixed in Key, it's basically software that scans your music library and automatically detects what key each song is in. And that's really helpful if you're a DJ. It sounds so much better when you transition from one song to another when they're both in the same key. And I've been using it for years, it's awesome. Anyway, the Mixed in Key crew hit me up and asked me with their money <laughs> to check out their new software called Odyssey, which creates chord progressions and melodies that complement the chord progressions and bass lines that complement the chord progressions. And it's a really useful tool if you're a music producer and you're not so good at musical theory. So it's pretty interesting. Let's check it out. Okay, so I've just started a new project and this is Odyssey. Looks pretty cool, very blue. It's a lot different to Ableton, so it definitely took me a while to get used to. But our first order of business is to Decide on a key, scale, and a tempo. So there's heaps of different options. Let's go with minor. I like writing in minor. And E. And let's go like 115. We'll do a bit of a mid-tempo banger or something. <laughs> so we'll start with a bass line. Now, I, I find this software to be really handy to create chords on top of a bass line. Like I don't have any problem writing a cool bass line, but it's tough for me to create a chord progression that complements the bass line. So what we're actually gonna do is, instead of using this like generator thing, um, we're just gonna edit the MIDI directly. So we'll just delete all those notes. We'll set our pen tool to, to insert 1 16th notes and turn the pen on. And now we can just start writing a bit of a bass line. You can actually zoom in a bit turn the metronome on so we can get a bit of a feel for the timing. That sounds pretty cool. So we can copy paste that, just control C, control V, and let's work on a little bit of a variation for the second half. We can toggle the loop on and uh, you can move this loop around or sometimes it asks you to, to draw Oh, I think if you don't have anything selected, yeah, it asks you to draw a box over what you want to loop. So you just draw a box like that. Yeah, we'll just keep it simple like that. And I'll uh, zoom out a bit now. So you don't have to actually write the baseline inside of Odyssey. You can import a MIDI file if you like. But yeah, like if you already were in Ableton and you wrote a bit of a baseline, you're in the middle of writing the song, you can just save the MIDI file from your baseline and import it in here and then come up with some chords that complement the baseline. So let's get onto that. We'll add a chord progression. And this has like a little bit of a generation thing as well. So for example, inside here, there's all these different options. And I don't know if you know too much about uh, musical theory, but every note in the scale is numbered from one to seven, I believe. And for some reason, they <laughs> write them as uh, Roman numerals. And the small Roman numerals uh, mean minor chords and the large ones mean major chords, I think. I'm not the greatest at musical theory, but I believe that's how it works. So you can like preview some of these. Well, that one's kind of interesting. I don't know, it's not really gonna match our baseline just from generating a chord progression like that. So we'll have to customize them. But just to show you, there's also different rhythmic patterns. So you can choose, there's a whole ton of rhythmic patterns in here. So you can just choose one like this. We'll just mute the baseline for right now. I 
like that rhythmic uh, section. So let's see what it sounds like with the bass line. Spoiler alert, it's going to sound like shit. Okay, it doesn't match the bass line, but I've kind of figured out a bit of a trick on how to get um, the chords to kind of match the bass line. So what we want to do to start with is just create some divisions here for wherever the note changes. So from here, it goes from E to, to G. So we'll put a division there and then here it goes to A. So we'll put a division right there and it goes to C there and then to D there. Yeah, something like that. One thing I don't like about this software is when you create divisions, it won't re-trigger the chord. So you have to sort of find a rhythmic pattern that conforms to the divisions that you have, which is a little bit strange. But anyway, <laughs> whatever. Now all we've got to do is customize these chords so that it matches the bass line. So this here, we're playing a G note on the bass line. So let's choose a G note in here, G major. And then we're playing a there so we'll choose an a chord a minor and then this is also a this is what is that c again so we go c and then it goes to d after that that's already set to d excellent and then it goes back to e so we can go actually let's go with a major chord there just for something different to change it up from the first half. And then we got G. That's already a G. How convenient. <laughs> a. And then what does it do? A again. Maybe we'll do a major A. And then what do we got? C. C major or C minor. Hmm. Let's go C major. C major, D. Let's actually do a, a C minor. So right now you can see that the chords just keep going up and up and up, but we can adjust that. For starters, we'll pull this down an octave. All right, we've got some problems. It sounds a bit wonky at the end here. So let's actually change that to a minor. This really needs to be a major, doesn't it? Yeah, that sounds cool. Um, so now we can kind of transpose these chords around. So by default, they're set up to minimize the leap of the chord. And that kind of works, but we can actually um, adjust it. So I like the first few, but then this one maybe goes a bit high. This one definitely goes too high. So let's go. Move that out of the way. That might sound better. You can add knots and everything. How does that look? What we're looking for is like notes that connect from one chord to the next so that it flows nicely. So this one has one connecting note, that ninth that I just added, which will help transition from this chord to that chord. So that should sound pretty good. And then, let me see. Oh, you can also change the complexity, which just like, I don't know, adds extra octaves to the chord. But I haven't found um, that to sound too awesome. You can just have it play one note. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, we'll just go with that. Let's try. Let's go with that. These ones are a bit low, so we'll just go back to default and then that might sound good actually. Let's try that out. Maybe this one needs to be lower so that it transitions back into this first one again pretty nicely. So we'll try. Hmm. 
Let's see what that sounds like. Uh, it's a bit of a sharp transition from that one to that one. Try that. Maybe we can make this one a little higher. Yeah, that's nice. Maybe this one's a little low. We can change the inversion. So it puts the bottom note up to there. Let's try that. This one's a little bit weird, isn't it? Um, yeah, up and then down. Maybe this one can be... Let's see what that sounds like. Nah. I think it sounded better the way we had it. Okay. Let's see what that sounds like. Jazz this one up a bit with a seventh. Maybe a ninth. That might work. Yeah, that might work here. And I'm kind of getting sick of these sounds. Like this piano, it sounds like shit. <laughs> so there's actually heaps of different presets you can choose from. Or if you don't like any of those, um, you can actually load up Serum and check out some of the Serum presets you have or whatever other VST you've got. You can just import your um, VSTs with the settings there. So let's load up Serum. And when I click on this, it's going to preview the sound. It's going to be super loud. I don't know why it does this, but... Oh, Jesus, it's so loud. Um, <laughs> I actually have a preset in here that I think would sound good. Basic chord preset. I may have prepared that earlier. <laughs> but let's see what that sounds like. Sounds pretty nice. Let's do something with this bass line. Um, we'll try some of the preset sounds here. I don't know, let's, let's just, um, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> we'll just go through some presets in Serum here. Um. Okay. I think it's a little bit low. I really wish that there was a knob here to just change the octave of the bass line, um, but you can't. So you've got to drag a box around everything and then take note of where this note is. That's an E, so we'll just drag this up to the next E. Not bad. Let's open this up again. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> we'll just go with that. So um, next thing that we can do is create a melody and we'll check out the automatic melody generation thingy that they've got going on here. This is really cool. So you can choose a rhythm, you can choose the pitch. So uh, what kind of pitch it chooses um, when it's generating the melody. And then you can choose what octave it is and the tension. Anyway, let's just, let's just have a look. Look at all these options. There's like a million different rhythmic options here. Yeah, this sound is not going to work for me. <laughs> it's a good thing that you can import your own sounds because a lot of the sounds that it comes with, they're not so great. So let's go with Serum again. Every time. Um, and we'll just make like a really quick plucky sort of sound. Okay, now we got a decent sound. We can play around with the rhythm again. Let's, let's mess with the pitch, actually. Look at all these ops and stuff you can do. Man, it's crazy. That sounds a little bit too jazzy for my liking, but we can change the tension. So we can set it so that it will only select notes that the chords are playing, which makes it sound a lot better. That's pretty cool, actually. I really like that. We can also add some drums in, but honestly, uh, the drums aren't the greatest, but I'll show you anyways. You can also change like what kind of uh, pattern, and there's like, again, a bajillion different patterns. So I guess if you're having trouble coming up with new and interesting drum patterns, you can just check out some of these presets if that's something that you struggle with. But again, like I said, I struggle the most with coming up with chords that complement bass lines. So that's what I'm kind of using this software for. We'll just delete those drums. So once we've gotten to this point, what do we do now? Well, just export it to MIDI or you can export it as audio, but I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> Let's export to MIDI and we'll just save it on the desktop. and. We'll jump into Ableton and see what we can do with this. All right, so I've just loaded up Ableton and I've put some drums in to start with. Check them out. Got some real drums. <laughs> and now we can actually just drag the MIDI file straight into Ableton. And look, even the clips are named accordingly to what we had in Odyssey. And it automatically creates three uh, MIDI channels for us to work with. So we'll just duplicate this over so it covers the whole drum loop. And now we can just start throwing instruments on these MIDI channels. So let's put a donk on that bass line, <laughs> of course. And we'll tweak this a little bit so it's nice and tight bass line. Now, I've got a bit of a groove on the drums, you can see there, and all these drums are actually set to the same groove in the groove pool. So we can just select all these MIDI notes and set the groove to the same groove. So everything's grooved together and it'll sound nice. All right, that's obviously too high for a bass line. And let's quickly put an OTT on there, fatten that up real quick. And I've got a sidechain trigger channel already set up, so we'll just sidechain the bass line a little bit. And for the chords, I was thinking we can 
Put a serum on there. And yeah, we'll just load up that same preset that we had in Odyssey basic chord preset. <laughs> A little bit of side chain, just a little bit of side chain. Let's uh, tweak this a little bit actually. That's cool, we can make like a bit of an intro. Oops, try this. Gotta stay organized, make sure everything is colored nicely. Now what to do with the melody? Hmm, let's create a new, actually, yeah, I've got a preset in here, which might sound kind of nice. It's a little solo sort of sound that I made. I've used it in other videos. Let's drag that in, and then we can just put the MIDI information down there. <laughs> We might need to tweak this MIDI information a little bit. All these notes are really long, so we can just select them all and just tighten them up. That's pretty cool. Maybe not so much reverb. Let's just turn the wet down a bit. So let's generate another kind of melody using the MIDI information from these chords. So I'll create a new MIDI channel and we'll copy paste this down here. And actually we'll just copy the serum onto that as well. The same serum that we already have set up. And we'll drag an arpeggiator in before the serum. And we'll set the gate to like 99% or 70% or something like that. Set the rate to 1 16th and... Now, unfortunately, the arpeggiator can't access the groove pool. So we need some way of setting the same groove onto the arpeggiator. So what we can do is create a second MIDI channel. We'll just drag this MIDI information up here and we'll take the arpeggiator and put it on there and set the output of this MIDI channel into this MIDI channel and then arm and record. <laughs> And now we're done with that channel. <laughs> we can set this back, turn the arming off, and now we can actually set the uh, groove on that channel and boom. Might sound better like one octave higher. So let's have a listen to what we got here. It's uh, just a little song, but hey. Got a little bit of copy left. <laughs> so there you go. Just a bit of a quick example on how to use Odyssey in conjunction with Ableton to come up with a quick little idea like that. And I can tell you right now, there's no way I'm writing that chord progression without Odyssey. Although the chord progression is kind of simple, I, I just, I struggle with chords. And you know, maybe you're good at chords. Maybe you're not so good at bass lines. So you can use the software in reverse, write your chords first and get the program to generate the bass line. So you can use it a lot of different ways. I just used it in the way that I thought would help me personally out the most. I'm terrible at chords. I try and learn as much as I can, but you know, it's tricky. And having a tool like Odyssey is kind of handy. Having said that, 
Odyssey definitely has a few bugs, like when you load up Serum, that's terrible. <laughs> uh, it's just a few growing pains, I guess, uh, and I'm sure they'll um, continue to update the software as they have done with Mixed In Key. So cool, hope you liked the video, and if you want to check out Odyssey, I'll put a link in the description. Peace! One.